representing the 31 to 53 foot class in the center console category. The Regulator 34 has an overall length of 33 feet 10 inches, a beam of 10 feet 11 inches, and max horsepower rating of 900. Designed to handle the roughest of inlets and long offshore runs, she has a draft of 27 inches, a dead rise of 24 degrees, a dry weight of approximately 11,315 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 350 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. Okay, this is the Regulator 34cc, and what I like, Regulator has stayed true to their roots. This boat is dialed in on hardcore offshore fishing. This is my kind of boat. This is a fishing boat. Okay, is there plenty of places to keep mom and the kids comfortable? Sure Absolutely. there is. But its mission is unlimited blue water fishing. In the Carolinas, where this boat came from, they got giant tuna, they got giant waves too. Well, what's good about it is it can handle the rough water like you're seeing, but still it's a manageable size. Two guys, it's all you need. You don't have to have a captain, you don't have to have a crew. If you're looking for a boat that's just under that 40 foot mark, as far as the ride and the feel of it, but yet you want to stay in a, in a more functional size, 34 feet, this boat will do it. Okay, we're starting here at the back of the boat in this regulator, and it's for a good reason. There's a real advantage to having an Armstrong bracket on the back of this boat. Less wetted surface, better performance. Not only that, the sound is back here. And the last thing you're going to get is flotation. We've got the weight of these three engines back here. The bracket itself has flotations that help support that weight. When they're back there and they're out of the way, that makes it so much easier for my anglers to cross back and forth, not have to, to get involved with the engines. I've loved this installation when they came out with it. I'm glad regulators stayed with it. Well, they do have a transom door here. For when you're diving, you've got a beautiful swim platform. You'll never catch a fish big enough that you've got to drag through this door, at least you won't. Other people that own this boat might. Dude, I would wear those hinges out if this was my boat. But in all seriousness, the cockpit on this boat is perfect. It is as big as it can be. It's fabulous. There's no clutter. There's no step. There's nothing in the way. This is just flat where it happens on a 34 regulator. Bring several of your buddies. If you're going to be diving, you got plenty of room for gear back here. That's what you need a cockpit this size. Kind of like the great Wild West, my boy. Nothing but open spaces. Well, you have three live wells back here. I know how every time we get on a boat, the first thing you run to is the live wells. <laughs> You've got one here in the center. This could be your primary live well. That way everyone can use it at the same time. It's got your clear lid you're looking for. You have your prep sink and you have a little cutting board, but you've got two additional live wells back here on the transom. Your biggest baits will normally go in your biggest well with the most flow through it, but you're going to have more than one kind of bait to match whatever the fish are feeding on that day. Three live wells isn't a luxury for a boat like this, it's a necessity. Well, a boat like this, another thing that comes into mind is range. If you're going to make a long run in this boat, that's a comfortable place to do it. Now, see what I'm talking about when I say comfort? Yes, I do, my boy. Let me tell you what, I could ride a long ways right here. Well, if it's rough, you're going to stay out and fish in this boat. There's mm -hmm. no reason to come back right. in. You're going to want to be comfortable, especially for a long run in rough seas. These, you're locked in these seats. You're not going to have to feel like you have to hang on. The seats are going to hold you. Not only that, you've got this nice big dash. It's almost like a command center. You've got all your electronics here, all your gauges, your controls are all laid out nice. You have a head down there. There's plenty of room to go down there and shower and, and uh, you know, use the head and store stuff. All right, let's go forward. I'm going to show you that big fish box we're talking about. Hey, we've, we've done a lot of regulators. You miss anything? Yeah. What not, do you miss? Not having to step up, coming ah, forward. Ah, see, that is the number one thing that drives me crazy is when a deck is uneven. You're chasing a big fish, and you're coming up the side of that console. You don't want to trip. I love an even deck, bow to stern. Well, not everybody is as clumsy as you are, but you're going to trip when there's a step up, because not everybody in the boat knows it's there. You're right. This is a great area up here for everyone to sit. If you're going to be cruising, even if you're slow trolling, or if you're going to use the boat for the family, with a boat like this, you're going to take the family out. You have to have a comfortable place. Not only is this a comfortable place to sit, but there's a lot of storage up here. We've got rod lockers on both sides. We talked earlier about the insulated fish box. That is huge, even if you're going to use it for storage. You have another insulated cooler under the seat of the front of the console. You have storage up here. Obviously, you have an anchor locker. So it's not just seating, it's additional storage for the boat. Everything's kept below decks, out of sight, but if you need it, you can, you know, access is right there. Okay, well, let's look at it. We can go anywhere. Her, she has no limit as to no. where she can run, okay? 
We got the power that we need. We got the fish box that we need. We got plenty of live well capacity. We've got a lot of things that make her a very serious fishing boat.